people are going crazy about this new AI music generator because apparently it comes with a lot of inbuilt features that apps like Suno, which I love by the way, don't have. So let's check it out together, see if it's better than Suno. So I just logged in here with my Google account. As you can see, I did try one track just to see if it would actually work before I started recording. So here is our dashboard. Now I love the UI of this tool and I really like some of the nice little details they put in. Like a lot of these music generators could just add this GPT extension that will rewrite your prompt with way more details so the generator can actually do its job better. So as you can see, this thing can do music and sound effects. We'll be checking both of those out. There's also a video tab here apparently you can upload a video and it will just create music that it thinks goes with that video so we're definitely going to check that out as well this is all completely free by the way and there is a pro plan but it's only four dollars a month which is i think the cheapest plan i've ever seen in some of these ai tools especially music generators now the pro plan will give you 500 creations a month you can separate individual stems so you can separate the instruments out of your tracks which is very cool you can make five minute long songs which is really impressive if it actually works properly obviously you can save and export your creations and you get full commercial use license which is pretty cool for four bucks a month also you have up to two times faster loading time so let's just start off with the free plan see what we can make with that maybe we'll have to upgrade to check out some of these features so on the left we also have mix and edit where you can mix your tracks we also have the explore tab where we can see other cassettes that people have made so i'm not sure if this is just the most recent ones or the most popular ones or what but let's just give it a go ourselves first now this is a very popular search term on youtube so let's try lo-fi hip-hop beats for studying and then we can actually refine it using i assume gpt or some other llm so there we go it gives us instrumental lo-fi hip-hop track with relaxed tempo featuring a steady beat soft melodic synth lines and ambient textures for a calming study atmosphere now down here we have the options we can make it private we can auto refine the prompts. Oh, that's cool. So I didn't actually have to do that. I assume then when I just hit create, it would refine it by itself. Then we can change the duration. Can we actually do more than 20 in the free plan? Maybe. Apparently sound effects are always 10 seconds, but let's just stick with 20 because that seems all right for now. And let's hit create. And there we go. As you can see, that took about 45 seconds. I'm really interested to see what this sounds like. Let's give it a listen. Interesting, not bad. Definitely not bad for a music generator. Let's see what happens if we actually just modify it to a much simpler prompt. All right, let's see what it did. Wow. That's a pretty cool tune. Ah, yes, so if we try to separate the instruments, we get taken to the upgrade page. Let's just upgrade quickly. All right, there we go. We are now in Cassette AI Pro. Let's head back over to Create and try Acoustic Beach Vibes. Let's refine that. Compose an acoustic instrumental track with a relaxed and mellow mood that evokes the ambience of a peaceful beach setting, incorporating sounds of waves and seagulls. Uh, sure, let's include all that. So it still says estimated time 45 seconds-ish. Doesn't seem like we actually got anywhere near up to two times faster generation zero times faster actually oh yeah no there we go we can already play the first half of the song after 20 seconds so that's pretty cool let's give it a listen Oh, there's the seagull on the end. <laughs> okay, so now we can actually separate out the individual instruments. So I guess it doesn't have any drums. Here's the bass. Okay, the piano. Tiny bit of piano here, it seems. That is not piano. Guitar, then. Yeah, it's fair enough. These didn't seem very... Okay, let's try it again. Let's very simply just do country song. Refine that. All right, well, I can't do lyrics. Let's... Let's... Get rid of all this upbeat country song. Let's just try that. 
Now, while this just finishes up, I'm really interested in trying the video features. So if we just get some stock videos. So let's get this earth and sun here. Now, this should be interesting. Someone playing the guitar. See what it comes up with that. And how about some kittens playing around? All right, so those are all downloaded. Let's go back and see what it made of our upbeat country song. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can separate the guitar out of there. Yeah, it actually does. Okay, let's just jump over to this video feature because I'm too excited to try this out. So first we have the earth spinning. Let's just drag that in there and create music. Okay, so we had a little glitch there. I think it just wasn't doing anything. So I just refreshed the page and dragged it in again and it instantly went to this screen. I just realized the earth doesn't really make a sound. Well, it, I guess it does, but not in space. So maybe this wasn't the best video to choose, but let's give it a listen. Wow, that's actually really, really good. That sort of calm sci-fi music with the earth spinning. I think it's really, really good, actually. I think that's perfect. So we don't get the opportunity to separate out the instruments if you do it with a video, it seems. That is very cool, though. We can also create a variation. Let's just try that quickly. And here's our variation. Very, very cool. Okay, let's try the playing kittens next. All right, here we go. Okay, that's really not bad. It's sort of a playful music. Really, really good. Now let's try the uh, acoustic guitar player we downloaded. I wonder if it actually makes acoustic guitar music or will it create a different type of music that it thinks fits the scene? Okay, let's see. Again, definitely not bad. It obviously recognized that this is an acoustic guitar. We got some pretty relaxed melodies going on. Very cool. What about 16-bit fantasy video game music? Let's refine that. Yes, perfect. 16-bit style soundtrack suitable for a fantasy themed video game evoking a sense of adventure and mystical landscapes. By the way, guys, I'm always researching new AI tools and ways to use them. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe or just leave a like. It would really help. All right, thanks. And here's our video game soundtrack. Wow, that's really cool. That's so good. All right, I'm actually just gonna go back to the same prompt, but this time let's increase the duration to like two minutes to see if it actually holds up over a longer period of time, which is usually where these things fall short. While we do that, I think we can just duplicate this tab and go to the sound effects. So let's give that a go. How about starting off simple ocean waves? Ah, we do have to wait 15 seconds before my next generation, that's okay. All right, let's see if we can hear some ocean waves. Okay, that's very bad quality. It's sort of jittering. I can actually hear the ocean waves, but that's really not good at all. Let's try an old fashioned car horn. There we go, definitely a car horn. That's really good and very usable, definitely. How about something all video editors use these days? A whooshing sound for video transitions. Here we go. Nope, terrible. That is really, really bad. <laughs> How about a V8 engine starting and revving? Actually, maybe we should refine this prompt this time. A high performance V8 engine ignites and gradually increases its revs, producing a deep and powerful rumbling sound. There we go, that should be good. Okay. That 
That's really good. It doesn't increase its revving, but the startup sound really good. I mean, I know nothing about cars, so I'm not sure if that sounds like a V8. Sounds really good in my opinion, though. And it seems our 16-bit video game soundtrack has finished the full two-minute one. So let's give that a listen. Alright, so I thought that might happen. Like a lot of these music generators, the longer the track, the worse it gets, it seems. Now this is only one sample I've tried, but you get that high pitch ringing and everything sort of just falls apart. Still, the beginning, really, really good. This, I could literally see this being in a video game. So what happens if we actually hit mix and edit here? Uh, it seems we can only sort of move the track around and trim it. I thought we would be able to see all the instruments here, but I guess not, or not yet. Let's look at the global cassettes. Compose a soothing and joyful piano piece accompanied by gentle, let's try that one. Okay. This one I'm really impressed with. Definitely a soothing and joyful piano piece. The chimes were there. It seems it made two tracks instead of one. Still amazing. Really, really cool. So yeah, this tool is called Cassette AI. Link will be in the description, of course. If you like this video, you'll definitely like this other video I did on Meta's audio box. So you can compare the two yourself. And I'll see you next week.